good afternoon everybody I'm currently standing in Naples train station in Piazza Garibaldi in the food court getting some bits for my train journey to Lucca I'm heading to Lucca for the next week and then I head back to London I am alone I've dropped my father off at the airport dropped the car back quite emotional and now I'm on my own traveling by myself for the first time may I add on a train in Italy from the south to the north you guys know me by now I love to drive I love cars um, but it just made more sense to get a train since I'm by myself so that's what I'm doing so I'm collecting some snacks which is proving to be not as difficult as I thought I found a few vegan um, sweets and then I've just got like a um, broccoli sandwich, like a broccoli that we have here in Naples um, sandwich. So far, I would like to get a drink. I don't know what, but I would like to get a drink. That music, by the way, is just somebody playing, you'll be able to see, on the piano. How good is she? Um, so, I have about an hour to my train, so I'm going to look for more snacks. <laughs> so here we have a little sfogliatella shop, but for those of you that don't know, those doors there lead out onto a road and just across the road is one of the best Foliatella shops that we always go to. We don't come in here. So if you are at the train station, just go out of these doors and head right across the road. It's called Puore, I think it's Puore di Foliatella, which is actually what this is called. Maybe it's the same shop. Maybe it is. Actually, it does look like it. Um, but this is the little food court and yeah, it's not too bad and we have a live show as well. Outside and you can see uh, the shop there. I think the one in the station is the same. Good morning everybody. I'm just heading outside to pick Lemons. Oh wow, look at this. Look, oh, it's starting to rain. I better be quick. This is what this looks like in February. Oh, I'm at my slippers. Oh no, where's the lemon trees? I think they're around here by the wood. Oh no, not down there. Oh no, by the wood. By the wood means down here. Oh, I'm not dressed for this. Oh, oh, I need shoes. Right, I need to, oh, can I do it? Oh, I'll just do it. Oh dear. Here they are. Oh, look, they're sleeping. With their light and their blankie. It's all the wood. Hi guys. Sorry to bother you, but can I have a couple lemons? I wonder if these are too small. I think that's as big as they get. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, isn't that a sight to see? So, I'm just gonna choose the biggest ones, I think. That's what I think. So I'll take, oh, I'll take this one. Oh, this one's actually quite big as well. I think three will do for now. I've got my three lemons and I'm heading back to the house. And the rain is kicking up a notch. My goodness, my slippers. Well, good morning everybody. I am finally in Lucca, safe and sound. Yesterday's trip went a little bit skew if, if I'm honest. I was meant to arrive in Lucca at nine o'clock. I ended up arriving at 10. 
Um, the first part of the journey was my fault. So I got on the wrong train basically. I got on, um, well it said platform 15. I got into my carriage, which was five, my seat 26. I was sitting there and I was thinking, this is really nice. Send a picture to Stefania saying, this is really lovely. The train's really lovely in Italy. Then the ticket inspector comes to check all the tickets and she scans my one and it goes, eh. And she's like, you're not meant to be on this train. And I was like, what would you mean? This isn't your train. I was like, where on earth am I going? Thankfully, this train was heading north and it was going to Milan. And at first she was panicking. She was like, I don't know if I can get you to, to Florence because that's where I was going to first. Then she called a few people and she said, right, get off at Roma Termine, which is the Rome um, train station, and get your train, which was the 8922. It's coming behind us, it's slightly delayed. Fantastic. Then she was like, but you need to get out of this carriage. I was in obviously business class, which is why it was so nice. I did try and get a business class ticket, but uh, they sold out. I was super slow on booking the tickets. Originally the ticket was 40 pounds, and then I went to book and it went up to 80. And the choice of trains, times, and seats just went. So I moved gratefully because I was happy that the train wasn't going to Puglia and um, sat there, got to Rome and my train was delayed 45 minutes. Well, it actually turned out to be an hour. All the other trains were fine apart from mine and um, I stood in the cold. It got quite cold and it got quite rainy and waited for my train. I got on my train and because that train was an hour behind, I then missed my connection train from Firenze to Lucca. So I then had to get the half past eight, which stopped at all the little villages. So it ended up being 10 o'clock. And then I got home at about half 11. So as well as my hair being all over the place, I am also a little bit all over the shop today. I'm very tired. Obviously the weather's changed quite drastically. It was very warm. It got to highs of 29 degrees in um, on the Amalfi Coast, which was amazing. But it is rainy. It's not that cold to be honest. It is when it's windy, but it's more like February weather. I will say that. So I'm just gonna pop out to the shops today and get a few bits. And then I'm just gonna sit. I'm gonna have a hot, cozy drink. And I'm just gonna edit and, and just, Maybe I feel like writing a blog actually. I feel like writing a blog. I miss blogging, I miss my website. Those of you that don't know that I have a website, I'll pop it below. Let me know what you would like to read if you do read websites. I would love to know because I just share the things that um, I would think interest me. Let me know, but I'm gonna write a blog post as well I think and then post today and get the video ready for tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm gonna have one of those days. I might even just sit in bed and do it. I am just back from the shop and clearly very windswept. My goodness, my hair today, I don't know what's wrong with it. I, come on, because I want to show you guys the bits that I got. I feel like I was quite successful with the healthy, healthy food. Um, and for those of you that come to Italy and there's Esse Lunga's, I, mean, I don't, I don't want to actually say everywhere because I don't think we have them in the south, but definitely in the north, definitely near and around Luca, you get Esse Lunga's and yeah. I'm really happy with my purchases, so basically I want to show you and then I'm going to make one of them. Okay, so I'll show you this one first because I have it on boil. Now, you'll probably expect that plant milks are available in Italy and they are, they pretty much are, but I found the Oatly one and I think Oatly, out of all of them, is probably one of the best ones. A lot of them have a lot of other ingredients in them. You guys will know that I check all the ingredients, whatever I buy that's that's my oat milk ready. I'm gonna make a latte because I found something else in the supermarket that has inspired me too. It's not much inspiration, but for Italy. But like I was saying, a lot of them have a lot of um, stabilizers and nasties in it. You'll see that the ingredient list is quite small in comparison to the rest of them. Of course, if I was at home, I'd be making these things myself, but if you need it and want it, they do have only, which is really good. Then, this is the reason basically, well, actually it's not the reason because I did get some granolas also. Again, granolas, there's a lot of rubbish in them. They may seem healthy, but most of them are not. They're really not, they're full of sugar. But this brand, Perfect Bio, are a clean brand and they are also bio and the ingredients are just oats, cocoa chips, apple, almonds, dates, 
Grano Saraceno. I don't know how to, um, I don't know what that is in English. Cacao, Argov. And that is basically it. So there really isn't too much bad in it. There is a little bit of sunflower oil, which I don't like having any oil, but out of all of the granolas, this brand we have found to be the cleanest and also the tastiest. So I've got the cacao for dentist, so dark chocolate and cocoa, uh, coconut. And then this one is figs and activated almonds. So I've got my granola. Also, it's quite difficult to get raw chocolate or very clean chocolate out here. There is that one shop, but I haven't been yet. But there's this brand. Um, is it Otto? Otto chocolate. And this is a great affordable one because obviously a lot of the raw or vegan chocolates are quite expensive. So this was only one euro 60, I think it was. And the ingredients are just cacao paste, nuts, cacao butter. And I think the only bad thing was sugar and it's just because it's um white sugar and we don't eat white sugar well, i can't see it but it's sugar free so it's only actually cacao mass mannitol whole hazelnuts cacao butter hazelnut paste that's it so i think for a affordable option otto chocolate is really really good and of course essa longa is everywhere that bio shop i only i've only seen in Lorca, so otto chocolate i've stocked up on a few of those I might take some back to London and then lastly I was in the store and I was like Shit, I can see something really cozy of course a matcha latte and I was like there's no way they can have matcha powder here I found some I can't believe it so these are matcha tea to go sticks it's bio it's finest Japanese matcha quality and it's 100% bio matcha and you basically have sticks of matcha yeah guessing with the powder in it like that and I'm guessing you just pour this into the mug so that would be one mm, that's I mean that's a little bit shy I think oh actually wait you need to really you need to give it a real bash and the rest of it comes out actually do you know what that is about right for the amount of powder you need and then it says oh you're supposed to shake it with that. well i'm not going to shake it i'm just going to pour my already heated oat milk in i'm also going to pop some honey in as my sweet now i've got this one uh, Mille Fiori. This one's a local one. Biological as well. Oh damn it, I hate when I put the spoon in before I've done the honey. Honey first, then stir. Oh no, this has been in the fridge, so it's super hard. Oh. So interested to try this. Because also, having these little sticks are great for like in your handbag and then when you're out and there isn't anything for you but there's some plant milk just order the milk hot with a bit of honey or whatever sweetener you like and then just sneakily put one of these in that's my plan anyway i thought they were so clever the brand is called kissa or kisa kisa if i can find them i will link them if i can't find that brand but i find some sort of matcha sticks per use i'll link it for you so you can have them on the go as well even if you're not in italy mm. Mm. that's actually really nice i feel really close <laughs> um i probably could have had a bit more matcha because i like it quite strong but for being in italy and having a matcha latte that i can make at home i'm a happy girl so that's what i got not too much but just some nice like i suppose some like grounding bits and make you feel cozy especially this time of year anyway i'm going to take my matcha latte i'm going to head upstairs and i have a hella load of editing to do before dinner so i'm going to crack on with that such a beautiful start to the day here in Luca. sunshine 
it's a good temperature, I think it's about 13, 14. Wow. The daffodils are starting to come out. Spring, I think, is officially here. Can you hear the running water? There's a river down here. You can just hear the water. You won't be able to see it because I can't get that far down. But, oh, I think we might be able to see it. Can you see? Just here, the little stream. Oh, and then it goes all the way down here and you can see it down there. And then also all the way down there. How are the lemon trees doing? Okay, I am so ready for the day. As you can see, I'm up, I'm ready, and I'm going to look up. And I don't know where else, but I'm just gonna let the day lead me. But I do want some chickpea bread, I want some breakfast, I want, what else do I want? I just wanna walk around. I just wanna walk around in a very calm and enjoyable way. Arrived in Luca. First stop, of course. Those of you that have been following me a while, you'll be able to comment in the comment section. Where am I going? I'm going to get some chickpea bread. It's the first stop. I've missed breakfast basically. It's um, midday and I've missed breakfast. So, lunch. The shoe shop Cento Nove that I come to all the time, and you guys see me wearing the sandals so this is obviously their winter collection they're closed at the moment but the winter collection is just as good as the summer collection i have an eye on a pair of boots those lace up ankle boots i know Stefania would love they've got loads of loafers do i get my loafers from here i may have got my loafers from here so i think it says three o'clock so i'll be coming back A much calmer looker in February. I would say 20 to 30% of the shops are open. Um, there's a few bars, there's not too many, but it's just about right. It's really lovely. Oh wow, look at the size of this art. It is a ginormous tiger in this space in Luka. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely incredible the detail. Goodness, it's like he's watching over the square. I'm just in Piazza Napoleone and you'll see the continued theme of Carnivale since we're still in February and Via Reggio, which is not too far from here, is like the host of the Carnivale. So we have the Rolling Stones here and it's just doing a little bit of uh, advertisement for the um, shows in Luca that they have every year. They have shows in the square. Loads of artists come. We've had John Legend in the past, Celine Dion, Eros Ramazzotti, um, Lauren Hill. I don't know who's on this year, but this is the uh, start, of, start of it. And it's just such a wonderful day here. It's such a good spot because the sun's hitting it. Stuff for the kids. Oh, it's so nice. I just missed the antiques uh, market. It was last Sunday. I keep missing, I keep missing things. 
And this is a statue I hear of Napoleon's sister, who apparently planted the trees here in Lucca. So she's in the middle of the square. But, ah, oh, it's perfect. It's the perfect day. And I'm not even bothered, I haven't eaten anything. Can't believe how lifelike they are. So much detail. Wow. So Lenny Kravitz is one of the acts performing this summer. Ed Sheeran says it all around. Rod Stewart, Salmo Boys. Um, yeah, it's called Luca Summer Festival. If you Google it, Mika, Swedish House Mafia, Diana Krall, The Smashing Pumpkins, Goelia. We're grabbing a spot of food at Fuori di Piazza, which is right in this square, as you can see. And I was happy to see, for those of you that are vegan, they have a vegana option for a pizza, which is really, really good. I, however, am not going for pizza. I have gone for the classic Tuscan soup, which is beans, mixed veg, and the Tuscan bread is absolutely delicious. And also, of course, some chickpea bread. The chickpea shop that we normally go to, both of them are shut. So sit down and have one, why not? Got myself some green tea, sitting in the sun. Well, that's kind of mild, but there is, oh, I've got a, got, got a choice. Oh, Finocchio. I'm going for Finocchio. I did say green, but I'm going for Finocchio. Wow, now that is a slice of chickpea bread. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <gasps> They are already selling all the Easter bits. Look at this window with all of the Easter treats. Wow. This street is called Via del Bastardo, which means the street of the bastards. <gasps> How funny. So they've put me together a pepper and um, well, it's a vegan pepper pasta and here you have to just tell them when to stop. So they'll just keep filling your plate until you say stop basically. And I'm quite hungry today so... Grazie. Thank you, grazie. Good afternoon everybody. We are having one of those grey, moody, rain all day days and I am just loving it. It's been like this for two days. This is the second day. It's rained consistently. It hasn't stopped. The river is slightly overflowing and pulling down a little bit of the land. However, 
I'm loving every moment of it. Just look. Sometimes I feel like you need these days. Let me see if I can get a better. Oh, these ones are all steamed up. I'm not gonna go completely outside. It's not too cold actually. But just look. A complete opposite to last week on the Amalfi Coast where it was 29 degrees and boiling. And actually, the second day I was here was really, really nice. So that's February for you. But I've had the chance to enjoy both sides and I've been so productive. I've really gone inwards. I've done a bit of sleeping. I've caught up a lot of my emails. I still have more to do. Um, caught, just caught up with everything, cleaned my digital life a little bit and it's just what I needed. It's just what I needed. You'll need to excuse my hair, I've just washed it. We are having friends over for dinner tonight. So I've just set the table. I am being made a vegan lasagna by one of our friends, which is really, really sweet. So I'm really excited to try that. He owns a restaurant down the road from us. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You can see that I am just keeping it really casual tonight. There's no dressing up. It's just a cozy, rainy night in with our local friends. It's amazing how dark it is. Like I'm walking through the house, given we have no lights on, but it's only three o'clock, but it's just so dark and moody. I love it. Everything is pretty much prepped. Very organized this evening. We have lots of broccoli. Broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables. Look at this asparagus. Sorry saw this in the store and I thought how can I not it looks incredible potatoes and this is not for the vegans this is what everyone's having and I'm having the vegan lasagna I'm also in dangerous grounds as this amount of focaccia arrived in the kitchen today and one thing about me I have a very weak spot for focaccia from Tuscany, I mean, look at that. I don't feel that down in Naples, we get it like this, but I'm also gonna have a piece before everyone arrives. I just can't help myself. I don't know if any of you are like that, but is there something that you just can't help yourself with? Like, I don't normally eat bread when it comes to this and also actually it's probably from when I was a little girl because I always remember when my mum would come home from Waitrose with a freshly baked French baguette you know those big ones for dinner and um, myself and my brother would annihilate the entire blooming thing and there'd be nothing left for anybody else I have just realized I didn't speak to you after we went to the restaurant I didn't even tell you we were going to the restaurant it was kind of last minute but it was with the same like local group that are coming this evening. They called and they were like, come out with us. So it's this restaurant, I can't remember the name, but I will link it below. It's literally at the top of the mountain in this area of Luca. Going to dine there is like going to your nonna's house when you're a kid. So you go in, there's no menu. You have like a few things to pick from that they're making, they'll tell you what that is. They also cater for vegans. So if you call them the day before, they literally put together a feast for you. Myself and Stefania have been treated so many times there. And the wait can be a little long, but totally worth it because as you saw, they'll come when the food's ready with like a big bowl and spoon it onto your plate. And you literally have to say grazie for them to stop. Otherwise they'll just keep spooning it. And that will just continuously happen. I ended up coming home with a whole doggy bag because there was just too much food. I could not finish my second. So for my first, I hadn't called, we hadn't called beforehand because obviously it was last minute, but they uh, gave me the option of risotto al fungi, which is mushroom risotto, or um, tagliatelle, was it tagliatelle? With pepper, like peppers and cream. And they said they had a vegan cream and I chose that and oh my goodness, it was absolutely delicious so much so that i'm going to recreate this recipe when i get home it was that good then i had polenta with fungi again mushrooms on top and they did like bruschetta 
and some veggies and I had like two bites and I had to pack it all in a takeaway bag because I couldn't finish it and then I had it earlier on today. So that meal fed me for two days and it only really cost about 15 pounds. Also, I don't drink alcohol, but they had some red wine and I just had a little bit and it was so nice. The table is set and I think we're gonna light the fire just to give that more cozy vibe. We also don't have any heating in the house at the moment. So um, yeah, I think this will be perfect. vegan lasagna and here's the normal one for everybody else <laughs> minus mine's minus the parmesan all for me i'm the only vegan one of our guests has brought chickpea bread from viareggio which apparently is one of the best so i'm going to be <laughs> cracking into this very soon Hello everybody, I'm having a wonderful stroll this morning around Lucca. It's my last day, I go back to London tomorrow so since the rain has passed and the weather's got slightly better, I put on my comfies and my cosies, I'm just going to have a walk around, see what's happening. I was here on a Sunday which is why I may, I think it may have been the reason everything was shut, so there may be more open, maybe I could do some light shopping i've got to grab some chickpea bread for stefania and my mother wants a nice cake so i'm gonna get those bits as well i'm so tempted to walk on the walls of Luca because it's such a lovely walk but hmm decisions maybe i'll do that afterwards All of the freshly made cakes. I wonder which one my mum would like. Maybe a treccia of some sort. This is our favourite chocolate shop in Lucca. Oh my god, they've got castagne as well, chestnuts. They do um, fondant chocolate just covered in nuts. Can you see it? Oh, maybe I can get my mum some bits from here. They've got some really nice little bits. And their Easter display. Is wonderful. I love how they do Easter eggs in Italy. So pretty, and of course, they will be made in house as well. And they do hot chocolate, I've just seen. <gasps> Hello, 
This is one of the squares I love here in Noka. And since it's out of season, it's a lot more quieter. We have a few of the locals dining. I've chosen to walk within the walls and I'm quite happy I have done because it seems that there are a few more places open. So I'm gonna have a little mooch and see what I find at this time of year and then I'll go walk around the walls I think depending on how much time I have it's so calm it's wonderful I'm not going for any food however Buca Lantonio is very 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 good so if you are coming to Luca it's very close to the square like one minute from the square I'll pop it in the description box but this place is fantastic and this isn't a vegan restaurant this is for everybody it's absolutely fabulous Wow, this is the Easter store here in Noko, it seems. The amount of Easter eggs they have. Wow. Everything is Easter. All of it. Wow. Look at all the Easter eggs up there. Wow. favorite spots in Luka. Little part of the antiques market that's always here. Um, and they do have, yes, paintings. That's what I'm looking for. I didn't expect to find anything at all, but the first thing I've seen, I really love this. I found some prints here from Campania Napoli. Um, so I'm gonna have a little look through these because there might be something that's from the coast, that would be really nice in the house. There's one of Amalfi, look. But I don't want the two pictures. But there is one of Amalfi, so maybe they have... Oh, that's Capri. Ravello, Vico Ravello. These frames are absolutely beautiful, and even the linen that they are mounted on. I quite like this as well. I'm home and you can see I'm already into the focaccia. We didn't finish it yesterday, which puts me in a very dangerous position because I could quite easily finish that all. I am going to take it easy, however, because I'm going to have dinner shortly. I didn't get much from Norka, to be honest. There was a lot more open than the other day. Lots of end of winter bits, lots of cashmere boots, really lovely pieces. Um, I didn't get anything, so I don't need anything. I did, however, get food for people back home. So I've got five pieces of chickpea bread for Stefania, which, which is still warm. And I got my mother some cake because she normally opts for a cheese, but she's off cheese, which I'm really happy about. She goes through like phases. 
So I just got her a little torta della nonna, which was one of my favorite desserts when I was a young girl. And if there's a vegan one, you know I'm buying it. So I got her a couple of those. This is a cake that I find more in the north of Italy. I don't really, you can't get it on the coast. I've never seen it. Maybe I'm wrong, but no, I've never seen it. So I'm gonna go pack these. I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'm gonna get ready for dinner and enjoy my last night in Lucca and in Italy. I don't wanna go back to London. I'm happy here.